Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. China continues to maintain around 60,000 troops opposite the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. China has advantage of motorable roads and superior infrastructure on its side of LSE. India, with the help of BRO, is catching up but at present it's relying more on its fixed wings and rotary assets for troop movement and logistics deployment. The Indian Air Force presently operates a fleet of Russian and American-built transport aircraft consists of Boeing C-17 Globemaster in 11 numbers, 14 Iloshin IL-76, 12 Lockheed Martin C-130J, and more than 90 Antonov AN-32 aircrafts. Now the problem is that the production line of C-17 is closed because of which additional order cannot be placed. The IL-76 transport fleets, which were acquired in early 80s from Soviet Union, is also aging fast and has uh, low availability due to serviceability issues. And as per the CAG report, the required average serviceability rate set by Air Force for its transport fleet is 70%, but IL-76 and IL-78 fleet's average serviceability rate is between 38% and 49% in the year 2010 and 2016, respectively. Talking about Antonov AN-32, which will also start phasing out from 230. However, they can be replaced by Tata Airbus C295 and Air Force is considering that option. Now, the need is to replace the other aircrafts, which are going to become more urgent due to the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, which complicates the availability of spares for IL-76 and also for AN-32 aircraft. The Indian Air Force needs more strategic airlifters as it will allow troops and equipments to be shifted between theaters rapidly. Indian Air Force has released a request for information for medium transport aircraft MTA. The Air Force has requested OEMs and authorized vendors to forward information on their product which they can offer as per the parameters and specifications of RFI. The MTA would be used for various roles of transport aircraft between 18 to 30 tons of cargo carry capacity. The Air Force has requested the price for a batch of 40 aircraft, 60 aircraft and 80 aircrafts. This indicates that Air Force is willing to purchase maximum 80 such aircrafts. The deliveries of the aircraft is expected to commence from three years after the signing of contract. The most probable contender for this category is going to be A400M aircraft by Airbus. The Airbus A400M is a tactical airlifter but with strategic capabilities which can replace the older transport aircraft such as Lockheed Martin 130 Hercules. The A400M is sized between C-130 and Boeing C-17 Globemaster. On 30th October 2022, PM Narendra Modi has laid the foundation stone for the C-295 transport aircraft manufacturing plant in Vadodara, Gujarat after the definition and design phase of Indian version of C-295 which successfully passed the preliminary design review and critical design review stages. The first Indian Air Force C-295 will be delivered in the third quarter of 2023, that is around this time next year, including all Indian design changes and modifications. Now, after securing the final contract, which worth around $2 billion for C-295 MTA from Indian Air Force and Coast Guard, Airbus is now pitching for its A400M Atlas turboprop military transport aircraft to further boost India's strategic reach. Now, this aircraft can carry heavier payload than C-130J and is also able to use rough landing strips. In addition to its transport capabilities, the A400M can perform aerial refueling and medical evacuation when fitted with appropriate equipment. As per Airbus, the manufacturing plant of C-295 can also be used for A400M, which is good news. Now, earlier it has also been reported that Indian Air Force is really impressed with the performance of this aircraft. Talking about A400M Atlas, 
it is stated to be the most advanced proven and certified airlifter available combining 21st century state of art technologies it combines the capability to carry strategic loads with the ability to deliver even into tactical locations with small and unprepared airstrips and can act as even frontline tanker as per airbus it is one aircraft that can do the work of three that is act as a tactical airlifter transporting men and material to frontline air bases landing on grass or sand strip as well as delivery of paratroopers or pallets by airdrop second it can act as a strategic airlifter where it can transport outsized and heavy vehicles or equipment third the aircraft can be modified to perform the role of a refueler now if we look at the technical specification of this aircraft it is powered by four Europrop TP400 D6 turboprop engine and has a maximum takeoff weight of 141000 kg it can carry 37000 kg of payload which includes 116 fully equipped soldiers or 66 stretchers accompanied by 25 medical personnel it has a huge cargo compartment having width of 4 meters and height of 3.85 meter and length of 17.71 meters The aircraft has a maximum speed of max 0.72. It has a range of 3,300 km at max payload and 6,400 km with 20 tons of payload. Its tactical takeoff distance is 980 meters and tactical landing distance is 770 meters. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector